Hi, hello, this is Anup here and in this video we are going to see how to upgrade to the latest version of Configuration Manager. So Microsoft released a 2103 production version of Configuration Manager or SCM and in this video we will see how to get that latest version and how to upgrade your existing uh, SCM infrastructure to the latest version that is 2003. While recording this video, it is it is it is an early ring version of configuration manager 2003, right? So uh, to get the early ring version of 2003, you need to run this PowerShell script which is provided uh, in the blog post okay and I will link that blog post into the description of the video so you can refer to that and you can download this PowerShell script uh, from Microsoft okay so as you know this is applicable only for the online version if you are running online version of service connection point right so if you go to you go to sites site configuration down here and if you see my primary server right see my, my primary server service connection point is online so if it's offline then you need to go through another process i will also link one of my colleagues post into the description of the video where he explained how to do offline upgrade right offline upgrade of configuration manager current branch so let's go back and check what is happening uh, it is downloading now i will come back once the downloading is completed and uh, we are ready for the installation okay now let's check what is the status okay now it is ready to install so that means the update is downloaded and it's located in the server itself okay so if you check dmp downloader.log you will see the details and one of the thing which you can check is ec setup download single package finishes downloading and a GUID number so that means the download is completed and you can see a drop state message 14 and uh, the location of the ec setup payload is over here so let's go to this particular location and see what is over there okay okay so this is today is 27th and this is the this is the latest update which we downloaded today and it's around 2.73 gigabytes if i open it up you would be able to see the normal SCM setup files okay so that's good now let's try to install it right 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 click on the update 2103 and click on install update pack you need to make sure that you have already run the prerequisite checks two or three days before the actual production upgrade right and i'm going to click on ignore any prerequisites warnings click on next and um, there's one new feature that got added it's not a new feature it was a hidden feature um there was an option to remove the CAS servers in the previous versions of configuration manager, but it was hidden, right? Uh, the only 
कस्टमर सपोर्ट इंजीनियर्स फ्रॉम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट कैन डू दैट और कुड बी एबल टू डू दैट बिफोर नाउ आई थिंक वी वुड बी एबल टू डू दैट इवन इवन नॉर्मल एस एस सी एम एडमिंस वुड बी एबल टू डू दैट बट प्रॉबली वी माइड नीड टू बी वेरी केयरफुल अबाउट दैट now i'm going to enable this for this installation in the lab click on next button and uh, select upgrade without validating for my lab environment so but if you have a process in place to validate in pre prod collection uh, the latest uh, client version then you need to select this option and after that you can select a particular collection of devices uh, where you will be running the latest version of client and you will be testing before deploying to all the devices okay click on next and accept the licenses click next and get the summary details and confirm whether everything is okay now let's close this and wait for some time to get the status updated because if you if you start checking the status now uh with show status it won't show any status at the moment as you can see over here so let's come back after some time and see what is the exact status now let's check the status it is getting updated now okay and it says replicating the content right or content uh, <laughs> okay so let's click on that this was the wrong one because click on 2103 and show status so if you have cas and primary servers then this is where the con content will get replicated to the primary servers from the cas server okay but in my lab i don't have uh, cas so uh, this hopefully this will finish soon we'll come back once that is done okay well uh, the installation is still going on it completed three um, initial three steps download is completed replication is completed prerequisite check is completed as you can see over here and prerequisite check is having some warnings that is about the sql performance i'm going to ignore that and installation is progressed uh, very well now it is upgrading the configuration manager database and in my experience that is the one it takes a lot of time a lot of time so uh, we'll wait and come back okay now it's it's reached the post installation stage installation got successfully completed post installation stage is going on and it says sms replication configuration monitor component is getting installed right Okay, let's give it some more time, and I'll come back after that. Well, the well the installation got completed now, or the upgrade got completed now, as per the wizard. And um, you can see that turning on features is the last one, uh, which got completed, or that got completed. Okay, now let's okay click on okay and. Um, go back to administration and see what is happening over there or probably it will ask me to update and as you can see it's the status is installed right and uh, probably it will ask me for the update so console update it is not asking so that is bit uh, strange uh, let me close the console and relaunch it sometimes i have seen that um, this kind of tricks helps okay 
as you can see now it is asking for the console update let's click ok click on ok button to continue the update of the console and you can see over here also like in the ribbon you can see the latest console version and it is asking for the update now the console update is a straightforward process so i'm going to skip that okay well you got an error it says feature update task requires that you close the console okay uh, this is kind of um not known issue but this is obvious uh, kind of obvious because probably some other users are using the console uh, from this primary server and that is why this error is coming as you can see over here if i go to task manager and kill this then if i try re click on retry now it's downloading the files and this is straightforward thing and i'm going to pause the video and come back after the update of configuration manager 2003 console okay now we got the latest version of the console let's see that let's confirm that go to about and you can see the console version is 2103 5.2103 and the site version is 9049 sorry yeah 9049 okay okay now go back to administration and see updates and servicing what's the client version and the console full version right it is 9049 9049-1008 that's a client version and if i go down here somewhere in the sites you can see my secondary server is not updated yet uh, to 2103 but you can see the primary server version is 9049 build number is 9049 okay that was a quick overview of the upgrade process and the verification process right um, for the further verification you can uh, go to monitoring workspace and you can check the site status or system status over here right component status uh, over here and check whether, whether there is any error um, critical error or not by clicking on this button right okay um so thank you thank you all for watching and um see you next time bye, -bye.